Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sepulveda here. Today is Thursday, April 29th, and I'm here with another uh, science notebook update. So page four was chemical changes. Um, we had different bags with, um, with a mix of either with calcium chloride, baking soda, or citric acid mixed together. Uh, we added some water, and we made some observations uh, that, that we saw. We examined the differences between physical and chemical changes, how temporary changes are what we consider physical and permanent changes are what we consider chemical. We've also listed examples of both. And then yesterday, page number six, uh, we did an investigation, depending on which um, class you're in, your numbers might be a little bit different. Um, we allowed for anywhere between one to two grams or one to two kilograms of difference uh, for human error or tech error as well. Um, but when we did the lab, we made our observations and we figured out what types of changes these uh, were occurring in that investigation. We determined that no matter the physical change that's taking place or the chemical change taking place on the matter, uh, the mass does not change at all, right? So we learned about the law of the conservation of matter, which states that matter cannot be created, nor can it be destroyed. If your notebook looks like mine, then you guys are good to go.